Elliot Grinch. What's going on everyone? Game Boy EG here back with another LSPDFR GTA 5 quick tutorial. And I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on um some software that I, you know, was um led to. Let's put it like that. Um I was doing a search because I've been on the go lately and um sometimes while on the go, I'll be trying to still mess with things for my game. I'm actually somebody um had a request for Philadelphia Patrol. So when I put my vehicles in, I like to put in, you know, as many of the vehicles that are you know based around that location that i'm going to do the patrol in so anyway only thing that was missing is a philadelphia fire truck you know so if you do a search i, I believe me i've searched everywhere and um couldn't find one they, they, somebody created one but they didn't release it so anyway you know i make a couple of liveries here and there i've made a, a u.s coast guard livery if you go to my discord you can download uh, a free U.S. Coast Guard uh, Mobile Command Bus livery. It, it fits uh, most of the um, Peterbilt uh, Mobile Command buses that are out there. Candice, Candy Mods created one. Um, I know there's a, a few others, but um, anyway, you go to my Discord and you can download that livery for free. I also created my own livery for Aldeny um, Prison for Liberty City 4, Liberty City, Grand Theft Auto 4. Um, which I've used in a couple of previous videos So anyway, so here I am trying to create my own little livery. It's not gonna be as accurate But I just want to have a Philadelphia livery engine Fire truck because I have a ambulance or Philadelphia ambulance installed in this game. But anyway So as you can see, I'm just taking a look at it and um, a couple of things. I'm gonna change a couple of things I'm gonna remove this L18 from over here I think, yeah, I think I'm going to definitely remove that one. So anyway, I just wanted to take a look at how it looks in the game. But we're going to go to my desktop, and I'm going to show you um, the software that I'm using. It's a web-based software, nothing to download, and it actually mimics. Um, it has the same type of UI as um, Photoshop, which I have in my studio. But when I'm not home at my studio, um, I, I recommend using this software. So anyway, let's go to my desktop and take a look. All right, so we're back on my desktop, and um, if you take a look, this is Photo P. Let me um, maximize the uh, view. If you take a look at the UI, I don't know if you if you if you are familiar with Photoshop, you know what I'm talking about. Like even down to the the layers located on this side, um, you can actually save as a PSD in case you do want to open it up as a, a Photoshop file. You can export it to you know all the various um useful extensions png jpg svg gif pdf and more and this is all web-based i was so surprised like wow you know no software to download this is it's right here in the web browser it's a web browser based um tool so anyway so i you know i took with me a couple of templates so i created a template I, well, not created a template, but I used the template for I had uh, purchased um, Mc, McGarrett's, I believe, um, his 2020 uh, tow truck. Um, and so I, I created a Philly. Well, you're going to see it, you know, stay tuned. You'll see my Philadelphia patrol. And um, I created a uh, Philadelphia tow truck, police tow truck uh, using his template, uh, mobile command bus. And, you know, now I'm just finishing up the um, fire truck. So I just wanted to take a look. And, and what, you know, makes it real simple, like I said, I go back and forth. You could just um, open up. Let's go here to my open four. And um, this is also, uh, I created packs. I, I'm creating a pack where it has the pretty much most of the default vehicles, which makes it easier to replace them. Instead of going through all the files, looking for them. You just use this DLC folder and you go right to the uh, vehicle you're trying to replace. So right now I'm, I'm replacing the uh, fire truck within the game. And we'll go here. And I'm going to take a look. Um, so there was something I, want, I wanted to uh, remove this L18. 
So we're going to go back here. And where is that L18? It's up here, I believe. Right? Yep. Okay, so here's the uh, template, Skyboom. And this is for a Pierce Impel fire truck, which also has the working gadgets, the vehicle gadgets, which makes the ladder um, function. You can control the, the ladder to go up and down, you know. And this is the Pierce Impel. I'll, I'll leave the uh, links down below if you're interested in these uh, vehicles or in the software. Uh, I definitely recommend the Photo P. But anyway, um, as you can see, so this is the uh, temp template. This is the Sky Boom. It's a Sky Boom um, Sign One template. And let's see, we're gonna zoom in a little bit more. Zoom in. All right, and I'm gonna get rid of this L18, which is these two. Wait, no, it's not that one. What is it? Oh, is it this? Yeah. So I'm gonna remove those. I'm gonna get rid of that. And there was something else I think that was, I'm trying to think if I should just make this completely red. You know what, let's take a look at a Philadelphia fire truck. Just wanna take a look, Delphia. So yeah, so they, they somebody did create a livery, but they just never released it. So I was just like, ah, killing me. So we take a look. All right, so it's just pretty much okay. It has the um the top up here. Okay, but I'm not gonna go through all that. I'm just making a simple livery. I'm gonna stretch this out though. Um, where is that? That is the. I think it's these three, right? So have, yeah, okay. So this is one. So you just go here. We go to edit, free transform, and we can stretch this out a little bit more. Make sure it's over the exact template. And like so. Double click. Okay, I think, let me stretch it out the bottom a little bit more. It doesn't have to be precise, but definitely want it to cover the actual um, template itself. Which one is that? Oh, that's the one down there. No, we don't want that one. It's that, it's that, it's that. Okay, it's so this one. Then we're going to do the same here. So I just think this is real cool to have a Photoshop-based um, software at your disposal. I don't know about you, but sometimes there are liveries that I just can't find for certain vehicles. And, um, you know, it's good to be able to have your own alternative, you know. So if you have the time, you know, and just put in a little bit of work. You'll have what you're looking for. You, you'll have the vehicle you're looking for. All right, so that's that. And what else was I thinking? Um, all right, and then we're just going to go and export it as a PNG. Wait, hold on. We almost forgot the background. Let's get rid of that. Good. And we're going to export as a PNG. Good. So it saves as a, as the um, default, which you, which is the uh, default of template. Minimize that. We'll close out of this. And what's simple for me, I just go to edit. We're going to go down to the sky boom. We're going to replace gonna take this go to my downloads we're gonna delete this one this is an old one place it there oh hold on replace there we go then we save
And we can take a look at it. I'd rather look at it in game. But pretty much everything is covering what I needed to cover. I was trying to think, I want to see if uh what part of the vehicle is this. I don't think I could put anything there. But I may I may put Philadelphia over here as well. Just to show it in the front also. But we'll come back to that. But let's open up the game again and take a look. All right. I'll see you once the game loads up. All right. So we have my game loaded back up. And um, let's go ahead and spawn the uh, fire truck. Go to emergency vehicles here. And see what the change looks like. Okay. We have our Philadelphia fire truck livery. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is like i said what i did is i took bits and pieces from um a fire truck livery that was created um for a medic vehicle oh, i see those two pieces there too maybe to be able to put something there and um i just took bits and pieces of the um of course the wording lettering rather and um i just created a um red background which is the uh, first layer and then just lay it, everything else on top using the template. So um, I think I'm, I think I am going to try to put the uh, Philadelphia fire department up in the front, probably right over the top of the um, emergency striping, right? Because we have that there. Um, and I may, um, I may just fill in the red where this uh, white background is. I may just go ahead, but anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that the uh, free software um, Photo P, uh, fo which like I said, works just like uh, Photoshop, which is crazy. And it's uh, like I said, a web browser. So anyway, Game Boy AG with another tutorial. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Let me know if this was useful um, or if it wasn't, you know, Give me that thumbs up, like it, share, comment, all that good stuff. And um, I'll catch you on the next one. Game Boy AG signing out. Take care. Be safe.